Hello and welcome to another video and as someone I'd like you to meet. Give me a sec. <laughs> no, that was a joke. <laughs> hey bro! <laughs> so this is Malro. You're gonna say hello. Why are you doing your extremely sad face? Saddest face in the world. So he's doing this kind of one eye thing where he likes to open like one eye wider than the other one. Which is exactly what Luca did. He's literally pretty much identical to Luca at his age. He's one week old by the way. He was born. Hey! He was born literally a week ago today. Um, so let's talk about the birth. Mauro? 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 Mauro, if you think everyone should like this video and subscribe to my channel, don't say anything, just kind of like move your hand in like an abstract fashion. If he's sick, does it mean that the video is sick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, we're set. Mara, are we set? Taking that as a yes. Luca, tell everyone about the birth. So, yeah. Good story. Like this. This is the scooter, and with this aggressive thought. New black helmet to match with it. Aggressive. And um, what it looks like, what's on the head? Is it a bit big or is it a good size? Um, good size. Hmm. And this, the seat version of what it looks like. Luca, who got you that scooter as a present? My well, this is to match with this bad baby. <coughs> well, Luca, going out for a scoot? Yes, I am. Right, give your brother <laughs> a kiss. Cutest thing ever. Okay, Luca has gone off on his scoot. Um, unsurprisingly, he wasn't keen to be involved in the birth story. He wasn't here, by the way, on a side note. Definitely he wasn't here. Uh, so, Sears, yeah. talk us through it. What happened? I mean, I know, but just tell these guys through it. I didn't really realise I was in labour to start off. It was quite similar to Luca, wasn't it, in terms of like. So I, was, like I was induced with Luca because he was too late. But like, from, with Luca, from Sears' first proper contraction to him being born was like two hours, and Mauro was like exactly the same, like weirdly the same. It was like normal, wasn't it? Woke up in the morning, had a nice cup of tea, felt absolutely fine, and then I got like a pain that I thought that was a bit weird. So I think Sears basically is pretty hardcore, so I think she was like, oh, this is this was a bit weird, but I think that was a legit contraction. Basically, you had your first contraction at like, what, eight-ish, right? But like, for it to know it was a contraction, you have to have a few of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's just a random But also, pain. so I think two things. Firstly, I think Sears was just being complacent, being like, oh, no, it's probably just like, I don't know, baby moving. But also, because you were almost two weeks overdue, right? So we were about, well, Sears was about to be induced, 11, literally. 11 days. Yeah, so like the day after or the day after that would have been induced, which would have meant we couldn't have a home birth, and we were quite keen to have a home birth. So we didn't want to jinx it, um, and Sears didn't want to, yeah, assume it was going to happen and then not not happen, and then obviously be disappointed. So first contraction at like eight-ish. Then just carried on as normal. No, I rang, I rang the, the hospital and said, look, FYI, I had my last baby in two hours, something might be happening, can you get someone to ring back? So they were getting someone to ring back to, come round and in the meantime we had breakfast with Luca. <laughs> yeah. I think again I think not not in a bad way but I think they were also quite complacent. I think it's just it's obviously quite unusual to have a baby that quickly. So like we were stressing or I was stressing on the phone, you know, we had like Sarah's had Luca really quickly so can someone come around? Like basically with a home birth they send midwives to your house obviously. But I think they kind of assumed it would just take a while. So yeah I mean basically it got to like Well like eight forty we took Luca to my dad's house yeah. and then it was about nine-ish, we were like, oh, should we set up this pool that we got? So yeah. we got like a pool. So, got, so we had like a birth pool, which is like basically a massive deep paddling pool, right? So it's obviously Matt like, did actually say, oh, can we use the paddling pool while using that triathlon? I mean, I what's like, the difference? No. It's paddling pool. Um, so it got to like nine-ish. <laughs> FYI, the whole time I've been saying, says, let's definitely set the pool up. And says so was like, no, no, we'll be all right, we'll be all right. Jinx it. Like, I, I thought it would jinx it. Oh, okay, fair enough. It basically occurred to me that there's no way we we're going to get a massive pool like out of the box, inflated, filled with water well, in that time. at that point I was having contractions like, they just didn't start and then they were like... They were like, yeah, like... In a, a minute apart, basically. A minute apart and, yeah, solid, like, intent. It basically went from, it, the same as Luca, went from nothing to, like, full-on, like, you're about you, to have a baby contraction. So we sacked off the ball and just jumped in the bath. <laughs> Our bath is pretty deep. We've got a pretty massive bath, it's actually not a bad... If you're gonna have a baby, I reckon our bath is up there in terms of baby birthing arenas. see your daddy. Apologies, babies are notoriously bad at vlogging. Absolutely zero respect 
to He's the video. He's actually snoring now, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's not quite a lot. Um, what were we saying? So, bath. You were in the bath. Yeah. Says so in the bath, like... Full-on contractions. Yeah. It was evident the baby was coming, like, soon, right? So I rang the midwife yeah. again. At this point, Matt's just running around the house trying to find, like... Everything we need. We'd like bought some like shower curtains on the recommendation from the midwife. That shower just... curtains, that's a great hack. Shower curtains put on the floor just like covers everything. It's like a yeah. Dexter. Our house is like a Dexter crime scene after I found these shower curtains. Um, rang the midwife. I was like, look, trust me, the baby is literally about to come. Like, I'll give it a go, but I'm not a midwife, so I'd appreciate some assistance. Um, <laughs> no, I'd appreciate some gas in it. Yeah, that was the main <laughs> thing. Like, in, do you know what? In hindsight, I reckon, yeah, I reckon we could have done it. I reckon we would have been all right, just the gas in it. Like, I didn't even get that much, should I? The midwife arrived at like 9.55? Yeah, so the midwife literally got there, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes before Mara was born. Basically, midwife got here, says so jumped out of the bath, uh, came into this room, and literally, like, Mara was literally born, like, here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like what the hell? But yeah, I reckon, like, if we get some gas and air on eBay, we could definitely do it ourselves. Like, says, oh, shout, out, <laughs> shout out to says, like, she did like three quarters, maybe more of the birth with like no pain relief at all, which is absolute madness. I feel like a birth is never going to be enjoyable, but like as far as births go, like that couldn't have been much better. And good job we didn't try and get to the hospital as well, because definitely yeah, had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like by the time we realised yeah. it was proper labour. Yeah, if we jumped in the car, we would not have made it. We'd have ended up having the baby on the friggin' motorway, which would have been not ideal. We did manage a quick trip to hospital, but in an ambulance instead. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Sarah's had the, like, Sarah's had the Malro, like I said, it went really, really well like mega quick but then the placenta didn't come i think like in hindsight i reckon you were in shock right yeah but understandably so it was like proper like obviously in like adrenaline yeah 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 so placenta wouldn't come uh, we left it a while still wasn't coming so we had to go to hospital in an ambulance to get the placenta delivered fortunately but like, pretty much the second we got there says so had a contraction placenta uh, was born yeah, birthed, birthed came out so yeah didn't have to go into theater which was ideal managed to get back home that day it was just like nuts it was like such an amazing like incredible day like the midwives were awesome weren't they like, yeah they came to yeah house. they really were like the, yeah we had so we had two women in the end um they, they came out. yeah we had obviously the ambulance like the, the paramedics the ambulance drivers same thing the people like in the hospital all the NHS staff we encountered were amazing like super yeah. supportive super it's just reassuring that's the one thing i say like a joke about the birth like i reckon we could have done it but it's just that reassurance knowing that if something firstly if something goes wrong you've got people there that know what they're doing and secondly they're just really calm there are a couple of points where i was kind of panicking a bit i guess and seeing the midwife just being super calm and like matter of fact just makes you feel better and like reassured about the situation anyway mara needs to change the scene see you outside we are out and about the weather is ridiculous by the way it's gone from like eight nine degrees so it's randomly like 16 17 degrees beach is pretty busy mara is like kind of half sleeping half Ready like, to be fed. Can you even see him? It's really dark, definitely yeah. can't see him. But I promise you he's in there. This has been like the, the, the kind of the routine, but obviously most days, but every day we're trying to get out like at least once for a walk because like, I think when you have a newborn baby, the temptation is just to stay at home, right? Because yeah, like you're okay. tired and like you have a newborn baby, but I think it's good to get out. Okay. Makes right. it like a bit less mundane. Obviously it's nice for him to get like a bit of fresh air. So yeah, we're going to walk around for a bit, then head back to grab some food. Back home, it is lunchtime for everyone. Says it's feeding Mara, actually to bring Sarah her food, which is here, basically like a collection of stuff she can eat with one hand. One sec. Now, didn't realize how late it was. I need to go and train shortly because we then got a baby-related admin activity. That sounds weird, but it makes sense in a bit. Um, the award for the weirdest lunch of all time goes to me. I've got one of these muscle food, kind of like protein-based meal pot things. I then have a caramel bar, aka the Great Shortly Bar. My basically, my thought process is, there's my protein, there's my calories, done. But yeah, my window is running out as we speak, so let's get aggressive. Done, or semi-done, I don't know eat more of that in a bit. Um, that was fast, that was quick. I mean, that wasn't that wasn't real time. Obviously it was a time lapse, but that meal, by the way, these are incredible. These are like the muscle food meal pots, like if you can see that. The macros are insane. It's like 350 calories, 42 grams of protein. Absolutely outrageous. If you're cutting or just looking to get a good amount of protein, i.e. anyone that lifts weights, these are very convenient. Like you just chuck it in the microwave for a few minutes and you're good. That is the chicken satay one. They've got a few others. They've got like a full English breakfast type one. They've got a couple of curry options, but yeah, they're sick. So there's a link to muscle food in the description. You want to pick some of these up or just some amazing 
amazing food generally go and use that link if you're a weirdo like me with a newborn baby that ends up eating meals like this you'll find it extremely convenient i need to go and train now so i'll get over there and then i'll see you at the gym we're at the new house aka that place aka the home of the gym by the way things are finally starting to happen with the house so i'm going to make a house update video soon because i haven't done one for about 20 years in terms of training things haven't been too bad apart from says wheeling Mara into a bush things haven't been too bad training wise like, since i was born i've trained like a couple of times i haven't mustered the energy to do anything other than just upper body stuff because i'm just like tired and also i want to be at home and i want to be spending like, hours in the gym today we're going to do back and biceps says going to attempt to film me whilst pushing a buggy <laughs> so if she pulls this off and i imagine work's going to come flooding in for her i'm going to put a string on for the first time in about a year it's going to be a good one let's begin Training is done and it was sick, like definitely best session since Marrow being born. Talking of Marrow, he tagged out with like two minutes to go, weak, but we'll train him upstairs, absolutely smashed it. What a time to be alive. Stop jiggling. Back home, currently wearing my son as an item of clothing, doing what is known in the parenting game as the baby walk. If you know what the baby walk is, you probably haven't got a baby, but basically just walk around, bouncing up and down like an absolute weirdo, and congrats, you're doing it. It is effective AF at calming your child down though. Anyway, current situation is as follows. Says is upstairs gathering some bits for the Mauro related admin task that I talked about earlier on, and then we're gonna head back out. So the mystery admin, Mauro related admin task is says. What is it? What are we doing? Why is this building suspend? Because this is the most exciting part of the last week of our lives. We're going to register... Apart from, you know, the new apart child. Apart from having the baby. This is number two on the list. We're going to register Mauro. Is that right? Yeah. So like register his birth, make him like exist. Like we're going to give him his name, his details, and then that's it. We're good. It's so easy to see That you're in love with me Carve your name next to mine on that big Whoa! First registration, baby! Mauro is an official human being. Is that how it works? Yeah. I think that's how it works. Oh, already started. Let's go waiting, mate. Okay, dinner is upon us. And by upon us, I mean upon the table. We have roast chicken, dough from our potatoes, and then like a broccoli aubergine. No, not aubergine. Come on, Matt, you can Why do it. Why is my brain not giving me the name of this vegetable? Asparagus. Asparagus. Asparagus combo. <laughs> Luca, how's things? How's your day been? Good? Luca, what are your thoughts? What are your initial thoughts? Your brother is one week old today. How's it been being a big brother um, for a week? Quite good. Quite good. Mm. What's the best thing and what's the worst thing about being a big brother? The best thing is that. Quite cool. It's quite cool. The worst cool. thing is that it feels a bit weird to come out of mummy's tummy. <laughs> that is. Pretty that weird. is true, yeah. Like, we, yeah. we haven't really, obviously, haven't fully explained that. Like, a, it's quite a strange concept. How do you explain to a <laughs> four-year-old how that works? How, a baby. Towards the end, he was asking like, how is the baby going to come out, and didn't really broach that topic, to be honest. Four and a half year old, you're supposed to say. Four and a half. You're right. Sorry, mate.